Hello, am I speaking to Charles Rice? You are. Well, first of all, congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Well, I am uh, absolutely stunned. Um, <laughs> I guess when you get it, when you get a call like this, uh, and you're not expecting it, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much don't know what to say. But uh, <laughs> this is uh, really a, a, a big surprise. Not not the fact that hepatitis C is being you know, sort of recognized. I heard just a short time ago that Harvey Alter and Mike Houghton were also uh, co-laureates for this prize, and, uh, you know, they really deserve an incredible amount of, of uh, credit. I, I feel as though I'm just kind of a representative of the, uh, the sort of molecular virologist community that um, contributed something to, to this uh, fight against this disease. I mean, it's a beautiful story of a kind of chain of discovery over a long period of time. People ha one, one person handing to the next, one team handing to the next. It's how science should work, isn't it? Yeah. No, I think it, it was really a, uh, you know, has been, uh, you know, just a, a joy, actually, to work in this community. Um, I think people have been, you know, very generous. Um, you know, sort of with ideas and reagents and, uh, you know, that together with the, you know, input of biotech and pharma um, finally sort of came to the finish line in terms of, you know, developing these drugs that are so effective that we have today. Now, we still have some challenges in terms of making sure that everybody that needs them gets them and, and uh, gets treated, but it, it is, I think... Um, a success story for, you know, sort of biomedical science and team science. And we're seeing uh, really a, an amazing um, follow-up example of that uh, with the pandemic. And yeah, the, the number number of groups that have stepped up to the plate to, to work on SARS-CoV-2 and, um, you know, the, the pace at which um, new discoveries are being made and I hope will, you know, sort of impact the the uh, control of the pandemic is really staggering. It's really amazing. Indeed, because Rockefeller, for instance, uh, your lab and others are very much involved in this in this current race. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting because, you know, I think it, it has become a priority, uh, particularly for virologists, I guess. <laughs> but, um, no, it, it, this, this week we are sort of preparing some, you know, papers that we hope to get submitted on various aspects of coronaviruses that we've been uh, really spending a lot of attention on over the last six months. And um, as I said, the activity around the world on this virus is, you know, breathtaking. Um, yeah. And it's, it's changing the way that science is, is, is done. It shows you what can be done if people really mobilize and work together and, you know, bring different expertise to hmm. a common problem. The award of the Nobel Prize can often be a bit of a distraction. I guess it's especially important in your case that you don't get distracted at this point. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, this, this does come as a, a, a bit of a distracting influence, I suspect. Um, maybe not quite as much as it would under normal circumstances. <laughs> I'll probably shortly be sending an email to the group, you know, sort of working on these subjects and papers to tell them to, you know, keep it up. <laughs> well, I, yes, I guess it, it's an extra... It's an extra boost for all virologists, everyone working on viruses around the world, that viruses are again recognized by the prize. Yeah, and I guess, you know, that's the other thing that, you know, we don't sort of engage in these activities to win prizes. Um, mm -hmm. Indeed. Well, I must say, for somebody who's had a surprise call very early in the morning, you do sound uh, remarkably collected and... and um... Well, I don't know, you know, it's... Uh... <laughs> On this particular phone, the only calls that we seem to get are, you know, sort of robocalls. So when the, when the phone went off, uh, you know, sort of 4.30 in the morning, I thought, well, it's, it's probably one of our minus 80 freezers that's warming up. And <laughs> so I, I didn't pick it up the first time because uh, I was, you know, sort of half asleep. It rang again, and it was, you know, it's still dark here. So, um, you know, I couldn't really see which button to push, but I guess I pushed the... Uh, the sort of talk button, and, <laughs> and there was the secretariat. Um, it still took a few minutes to, to click. Well, I look forward to speaking again 
at a, a, a greater length. But uh, for now, congratulations and thank you for the call. Okay, thank you, Adam. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.